Why does every supply fail the narcissist? You may think that what happened with you and the narcissist was an isolated incident. Something that has only happened to you and not something that they have done to someone else. And even if it did happen with someone else, the results would have been different. They would have reacted differently, maybe more positively or more understanding of the situation. The narcissist does tend to repeat the same faults and mistakes, the same arguments and disagreements, the same misunderstandings. From person to person, never developing enough awareness to correct their behavior, never really caring about what the person wants or how they feel. Because with narcissists, it's always about them. It's always about what they want or how they feel. It's only when your feelings then begin to affect your behaviors and you're no longer attending to them, no longer giving them the attention that they need. That is the only time that they might develop an awareness where you need to understand what is going on. But even then, in most cases, they are just going to deny any wrongdoing and then shift the blame onto you. You may think that the arguments and disagreements that you have had with your narcissist are isolated incidents. That they have not happened before with someone else. But I can assure you that it has come up before. You are not the first and you will not be the last. It has happened before. The very same arguments and disagreements that you have had with a narcissist. It has been brought up before with previous sources. But they never give it the proper acknowledgement. Because as I said, narcissists are very self-absorbed. They only care about what they want or how they feel. They see you as nothing more than an object that exists to serve their needs. Like a household appliance, a device or piece of equipment designed to perform specific tasks. And it is only when they notice a defect or a deficiency in your performance that they will then begin to acknowledge what has gone wrong. But even then, they will only shift the blame onto you and act as though you're not good enough or what you're doing is not right. Never acknowledging that the defect or the deficiency in your performance was due to their lack of maintenance. Their failure to preserve the condition or situation. Their failure to reciprocate what you were given to them. Which then left you unable to perform. Unable to fulfill their needs. Where they then blamed you. They then acted as though you weren't good enough. Or something that you did was not right. When they are just refusing to accept the truth that they just used you for everything that you had to offer. Your time, energy, affection, money. Maybe you invited them into your home or introduced them to people in your life who they are now friends with. You did all of this for them. You gave all of your time, energy, affection and money, but they never reciprocated anything back to you. While you gave out everything that you had to offer. Everything that was supposed to sustain you. You gave it to them. Which then left you drained of your own life source. And unable to continue fulfilling their needs.
the narcissist cannot reciprocate anything back to you because they have nothing to give. They are empty vessels. They need you to give to them to fill the empty void within them. But they can never be full. They can never be satisfied. And that is why they never have anything to give to you. Because a person must first be satisfied with themselves and what they have before they can have anything left over to give to someone else. Every supply fails the narcissist. It's a cycle. It starts with the love bombing phase where they are doing everything they can to impress you and secure you as a source of supply. But once you're secured, once they know that they've got you and you're not going anywhere, that is when they stop performing at the level you were accustomed to. They start taking you for granted. They assume that you're always going to be there for them, however they treat you. And they become very ungrateful for everything that you're doing for them. They may act arrogant and entitled, as though they should be deserving of privileges or special treatment. But underneath that, they are very insecure. They have very low self-esteem. They know that they do not deserve you. They know that they cannot meet the standard that you desire or expect from them. But instead of reflecting on how they feel or trying to resolve it, trying to improve the situation, they choose to project their insecurities onto you. They start pointing out your faults and mistakes your flaws and imperfections, whether real or imagined. Most often they will be magnified or exaggerated because they don't know how to deal with their own insecurities. So at some point, it is inevitable that they have to turn against you. They have to become your opposition. And that is when the relationship finally moves to the discard phase the supply fails the narcissist. If you could see their previous relationships or the relationship that they are in now, you would see the very same behaviors, the very same patterns playing out you would see the exact same thing that you went through with them. It may not happen in the same amount of time. It depends on the person that they are with. It depends on how tolerant the new supply is. How willing they are to allow the existence of opinions and behavior that they might not agree with. How able they are to endure the conditions or treatment. The more tolerant they are to the narcissist's opinions and behavior, the longer it will last. Every supply fails the narcissist. When they were with you, they may have acted as though you could never be good enough for them or that everything you were doing was wrong. But many of them end up in far worse situations where they wish that they could go back. And that is why they will hoover you. They will usually try to come back to the more appealing set of circumstances that they had with you. But if you've moved on and you're doing better than when they were with you, it's embarrassing for them. It causes them to feel awkward, self-conscious or ashamed. Because if you were really this person who wasn't good enough for them, 
this person who couldn't do anything right, then how are you doing better once they've moved on? It completely destroys the false narrative that they had created and it just makes them look stupid. It soon becomes obvious that they are the ones who are not good enough. They are the ones who couldn't get things right. And that is why it never worked out. Not just with you, but with every supply before you and with anyone else that they might meet in the future. The narcissist is constantly failing with their sources of supply. They are constantly being unsuccessful in achieving their goals. Because they neglect to maintain their source. They neglect to reciprocate anything back to them. They behave in a way that is contrary to expectations. They are constantly disappointing their sources failing to fulfill their hopes and expectations, being insufficient when needed or expected. They are stuck in a cycle where they continue to repeat the same results. And in most cases, they end up in a situation where they are worse off than when they were with you. It gets worse with time. It gets worse with age. As they get older, they only become more bitter and resentful, more unable to deal with certain situations effectively. What you experienced with a narcissist was not an isolated incident. It was not something that only happened to you. I can assure you that the same arguments and disagreements have happened before and they will happen again. And if you look back into the narcissist's life years from now, you will find that the same thing has happened to several other sources that they were dealing with, with the same or similar results, with damage and destruction, a loss of something of value. But when you realize that this has happened many times before and it will happen many times again, you will understand that you didn't lose anything in them. You were just a component in the cycle. There was nothing of significance or value there. You were just one of their many failed sources of supply. You were not the first and you will not be the last and you are better off not being involved in that, not being caught up in that type of dysfunctional environment. It's only going to bring you down with them. Just know that it was not a isolated incident. It happened to many sources before you and it will happen to many more in the future. These individuals just repeat the same process again and again. And that is why every supply fails the narcissist. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal links in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforthecoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.